Hello friends, welcome to my channel Tech IT Insights. Today we are going to discuss about the Sibir server architecture and what is the uh, old version is there and uh, what is uh, recently has been introduced IP24 right or statistically changing on the server architecture point of view also and UABs. So we can see this uh, for start with the old one. So civil web client is there access the business data and civil web server is handle the interaction with the uh, all the web clients and server manage the business data and provide a, a batch interaction to civil client and uh, to the database and bring back to the UI level here all uh, uh, server civil server will be there collection of civil servers enterprise servers and then gateway server will be managing with the all the servers the same way you can see in the details and uh, in terms of uh, how the firewall extensions will be there internal and uh, how the internet in uh, web server then if you go to the civil server you can see the gateway server servers are there i can uh, the same way em is there and civil tools is there now in details we can see this uh, the old versions how logical collection of civil servers and support to the access to the single database and single files file system will be there so file system which is you know that storing supporting the uh, configuration files whatever you do the attachments and all that will be file system which will be stored here and uh, civil clients also web clients server so developer web client wireless web clients same like you know handle web clients now you can see the uh, same like you know uh, this is when you want to set up anything we need to Unix, I need to be familiar with the Unix, including connection broker and uh, name of the server, uh, server deployment, profile configuration, everything, and uh, uh, then it, you, you need you need more on Unix uh, familiar background to any configuration configuration setups. So here, a SysNAP authentication, which is managing with the message format run to the TCP protocol, which is uh, communication between Sybil. OEM, Object Manager, and uh, SWSC. So, uh, in install the civil option, SysNAP is connection to the configuration encrypted authentication based on secured SSL, we can say. So, it's, it's a multi-thread processing, uh, the Object Manager component process in between to the uh, client sessions, each connection between the server request. And now, come to the IP. Uh, to 20, 21, latest upgrade IP24 onwards. It has been introduced, like you know, we can see the diagrammatic created here, and it has included server architecture plus in the migration uh, process. If you see here, it has been I added the two part. One is this one is server architecture, and this will be um, how migration process to the from dev to higher environment. So here smc has been introduced this smc is ga based civil uh, uh, management comes from here we have application interface has been added in this application interface has been introduced like web tools from uh, any earlier we need to set up your when you want to work on the civil uh, you need to server installation or civil setup installation in your local but web tool in order to introduce towards a cloud so web tool has ga based uh, where you can do the accessing the web tool you can start you are doing the uh, configuration of the your here from smc it will connect to the civil web tool and civil tools and uh, client also but gateway service is still same uh, collection of civil server and here Migration profile has been done. Now, this migration profile will do the migration uh, uh, profile configuration with the migration tools. And if you are not able with the migration tool, you want to do the whenever you do the design repository, which is your development that is a re design repository, you want to migrate it to the runtime repository. That migration tool will help you to the code migration from your dev to uh, higher, higher environment. So still, still same then file system and the uh, civil database will be the same. So here as all is GA based uh, setups you can do. You can see the civil management console, what it will do. Uh, to manage the deploy and deploy the SMC profiles and uh, manage the civil servers, migration profile and it here. Now application interface request the uh, civil connection data and 
it has uh, uh, whenever it is uh, supposed to the components like you know still still as being there like you know collection of type of clients is there like in web client uh, developer web client uh, still we have uh, the current versions also now the application interface has been handling integrated application civil web client and and uh, still uh, civil web uh, civil tools and uh, developer developer web client now in going forward they're going to uh, oracle is uh, will be going to stop with the civil tools and uh, it will be always it will be whenever you want to do the development by using the civil web tool only we are going to do the development so if you see this how it will be uh, civil gateway and uh, now uh, gateway cluster will happen here so here civil provide a dynamic civil gateway server dynamic address registration and civil uh, example like you know uh, connections presented here register address registration will happen here and if you see this such as like you know civil server installed for the installation gateway and gateway server civil like you know database configuration civil ea connections and civil application installation uh, enterprise constraint which is engine here now if you see the diagram civil tools and civil web tool so web tool same like you know if we have any uh, like you know, inspect mode where you want to do like a web base you can see the profile pilot like in migration uh, design pilot and you can see the what the workstation workspace is created that will be you can web tool as well. now see civil has provided two main development tools like in you know, civil tools that is there and civil web tool so web tool as i said similar to similar tool copy so here civil migration tool also will be there so migration is end to end encrypted data repository uh, using the like you know migration to perform the like you know, to uh, representation of the like you know migration data which is to the always use replication of the runtime repository and you want to application data by using this one by using this you can source to target which is source we source environment is design repository design time dr we can say design time repository to another environment no as target environment will be the uh, runtime repository now still it's same like you know civil file system civil uh, shared the file system which is directory setup application will be there and civil user preference will be there now in order to more details you can go through my uh, uh, linkedin profile or the book self thank you please subscribe my channel Thank you guys.